New this morning, tense moments in Sheboygan County as the public heard a proposal for a 24 hour daycare. My biggest concern as well is dealing with the policing. But she said it would help improve our neighborhood. And my question is, how is that going to improve my neighborhood? The 24 hour, uh, seven day a week facility also brings it with it 24 seven problems. Two mothers are at the center of this debate. They're pushing for help when it comes to their children. They say there's a need that is not being met. Our Julia Fellow talked to them about their plans and what they have to say to those who are not on board. In a mostly residential area on the north side of Sheboygan, are big dreams by two mothers who have children with special needs. The youngest is Nana Bemis, nine-year-old son Lucas. Six, seven, eight. The world is a bit of a different place. It is a bit of a scary place because um, you don't know what might happen to your child. She and Angel Berry hope to turn the former Sheboygan Christian School into a 24-7 nonprofit child care facility called A Million Dreams. How did that affect your work life, though, having a child with on the autism spectrum? I... I couldn't, keep, I couldn't keep a job, and I never finished my degree. So you don't want this to happen to another family today? That's exactly why we're doing this. They plan to take in children up until they turn 18, which left some community members concerned. I don't understand what an 18-year-old would need for daycare. It could be up to 18 years old. Well, up until the day that they turn 18. Uh, one, we're specifically working on ages infant, to 17 because there's a huge gap for teenagers with special needs. Yes, I understand the help and need for mental services for families and things like that, but those need to be carried out by a proper medically trained medical facility. I'm trying not to take anything personal. Another meeting helped people understand the layout of the proposed facility. Each classroom is going to have a theme to it. This already has a castle. So this will be our fairy tale castle room. And plans for this nonprofit to raise $1.3 million to remodel and hire trained staff. And where are you at? After the purchase of the building, about 500000 What do you think about some of the parents in the surrounding area that are not in support of this? I think they just need to have an open mind. Give us a chance. Barry says she will continue to pursue this dream and remind everyone of this huge need. Currently, there are 270 children sitting on wait lists. That doesn't include my wait list with another 50 kids. 200 of them are under 30 months old. Their plans are left in a final vote by the city council next Monday. In Sheboygan, Julia Fellow, TMG4 News. We did reach out to the Wisconsin Department of Children and Families to see if there are any current 24-hour daycares in the state, and they told us there are dozens. But none in Sheboygan County. There are three facilities with nighttime care within a 40-mile radius of Sheboygan, compared with nearly 800 facilities with nighttime care in our area, the Milwaukee area.